Hey fellas, top of the morning to you. Jeez, that's why it makes sense. Well, I hope you guys are going to have a good Sunday. It's uh, December 6th. It's about mm, 7.30. I'm sitting here, well, I'm taking my 30-minute break here, but, uh, I'll show you. See where that Western Express is at right there? He's backed into their shop. I'm here at the Loves in, in Lambsburg, Virginia. It's, uh, exit one. Here on, uh, I-77. sitting here waiting to get in when I picked up my trailer this morning I have uh, we got a, three lights that are on top of the trailer they're out now my my brake lights and my turning signals and everything on the bottom of the back of my trailer they work but the three top don't and I need to get those fixed so right now I'm I'm running I'm running dirty. <laughs> I'm running illegal. So. Cause when I picked this thing up about three this morning, um, I didn't want to hang around until eight o'clock in the morning down in the Carolinas before the shop opened to fix my shit. So, uh, I, I decided to come up here and get it fixed here at the Love Shop. Um, on Sundays, like early in the morning, the way station is closed to the south of me. So, I, uh, well, nine times out of ten, you know, it's basically mostly closed. So, I took a gamble came up here and, and yeah it was closed so I didn't have to go through it have them see that my DOT lights are out that's what they're called the three lights up top yeah I'm going to be the, uh, opening uh, Irene's package that she sent to me I'll be making another vlog for that when I shut down in Ohio later this afternoon so fellas stay tuned for that I was going to do it last night but it just got too dark and I, you know, I didn't want to sit here in the dark last night trying to show you what she got me when I went up to the Waffle House and visited uh, Jesse he seen me come in and he got paid his first full paycheck uh, he put in 42 yeah, 42 hours in. And I'm sitting there and eating. Um, just ordered my food. He, he slides me his uh, paycheck, you know, in half. And it comes out like a whole piece of paper. The top part's perforated that you rip off. And then the what's left, the two-thirds of it, of what's left is, you know, like his taxes and breakdown and everything. And I was, uh, yeah, he showed me, he showed his old man his, uh, paycheck. Yep. 42 hours, he made $235 last week. I guess it's last week. That's badass, right? So what I did was, I said, hey, uh, 
Let me keep this check for a second. I'll, I'm gonna run uptown. I want to do something with it. Oh, okay, dude. So what I did was I went uptown. I made a copy of it. I went to uh, Office uh, Depot and made a color copy of it to where it looks exactly the same. And I, and I bought a picture frame and I framed it. And then after uh, I got back and waited for him to get off work around 2 o'clock and I presented him with it. So he's got it. Now he has a copy of his very first full paycheck. Um, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Framed it for him. Took a picture of him with it. I'm proud of him. 42, 42 hours and he made $235. He's 20 years old. First real job. That's badass, right? And then um, later on, he helped me move my old lady from the one storage unit down and help back her in to the new storage unit that she's in now. So we did that last night, and it started to get dark, and came back to the truck, and uh, got ready for this morning. Did my laundry yesterday. Visited my brother. I had Jesse's paycheck with me and I showed it to him. My brother and I remember those times, you know, where we're about 20, 25, and first paycheck thinking that you can take on the world now. <laughs> yeah. I'm proud of him. Yep. So right now, that's what I'm waiting on. There's a, a Western Express right now backed up in the bay. He's getting a tire fixed. And the mechanic shop is supposed to call me. After he gets done and pulls out, I'll pull in so I can get fixed. But yeah, talked to Mad Dog some yesterday. Sent a picture of the picture I took with my son holding his framed paycheck. Mad respect. Yeah, that's what Mad Dog said. I told him to save his uh, money. Try to put it in the bank tomorrow. Tomorrow's Monday. He gets off work at two. Go ahead and save most of it. 
because uh, I'm going to tell them um, at the, you know, at the credit union where I'm at. So what he could do is uh, save up $300 and then put that $300 onto a, uh, a secured Visa credit card. So then he can start build his credit. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a do that. Help him do that for him. I think that's what it is. The minimum is like, you know, three hundred, three hundred bucks. Help, you know, help them build it. So now, so start getting the foundation, and uh, I'll see about. And after he does that, maybe around January, February ish, uh, have him get a secured uh, Discover card. You know, like three hundred dollars on it. Teach him, teach him a little bit about credit and how he can use it for his future. I'm no expert at it. But I've worked hard at it, and uh, all I can do is show them my TransUnion credit score of 808. Someone like you know when he practices with that those credit cards and uh, 10 years or so when he's 30 he can uh, he wants to put get a house or anything like that there won't be much of an interest rate on him so he can get a house for cheaper you know things like that That sounds pretty good, right? So I'll teach him about that. Now I want to get Enos out there, and you know, once he gets a job, I'll do the same thing for Enos, help him. But um, Jesse's the one that's working, and he's close to me. Enos and them, he lives with his grandma, a couple towns over, but Jesse lives you know, not you know, works kind of close to me so I see him more I can interact with him more and help him more. and when Nina gets to work in and everything like that I'll do the same thing for him but I can't wait to open up that package and I'll, and I'll do that later on today I've been sitting here for about 40 minutes. I already put my name on, you know, I already went inside the shop and gave all the information. Now I'm just waiting for them to call me. And then I could be on my way and then shut down in Ohio. I don't need to get fuel on the way up. I can get fuel when I get up into Michigan. So that's good.
Have you fellows started any of your Christmas yet? Any of it? I got mine pretty much planned out. It's just that I haven't enacted it yet. I doubt if I'll get anything for Jesse. I've been helping, helping, helping him a lot for the last month with his job and transportation and money and stuff. So, yeah, I, I think I'm pretty much set on his Christmas. <laughs> Yep. Well, I guess I'll go ahead and get on off here. Hope you guys have a good day. Hopefully I can get into the shop and get the hell out. Because I need to get this fixed. Because there's another way station up the road. And uh, they're always open. I want to get it fixed before I get there. Alright fellas, I got to get. I got shit to do. Bye.